Hi, I'm Anthony Stanislavski. I'm the author of Phrasing and Freedom with Brushes, and today I'm going to show you my basic swing pattern. Before we get into it, make sure you hit like and subscribe and the notification bell just to let you know when I've uploaded a new video. My basic swing pattern is comprised mainly of lateral motions, that's side to side sweeps, and it's great for tempos up to about 180 beats a minute. Once you get past that tempo, you have to change to a more of a vertical stroke approach. So one thing I've noticed a lot of my students encounter when they're playing with brushes is that they'll play a basic uh, pattern with brushes, and then when they go to play a fill, their brushes crash into one another. So I've come up with a method of choreography uh, that helps keep the brushes out of the way of each other, and I call these train track patterns. So you'll notice on my drum here, I've got train tracks drawn. For the right hand, it's given two tracks that it has to stay to. They both go from the bottom left of the drum to the top right, and there's a bottom track and a top track. The left track goes from the top left to the bottom right. And the idea is that the brushes have to stay on their own tracks uh, to avoid crashing into one another. So for this basic swing feel, we're going to start with our right hand. On beats one and three, we're going to play an outward sweep on the bottom track, and two and four an outward sweep on the top track. And we're going to lift our brush in between strokes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Our left hand goes from the top left to the bottom right on beats one and three, and goes from the bottom right to the top left on beats two and four. But this time with the left hand, it stays on the head and uh, to create a legato sound like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if you've got your snare in front of you, let's try this together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, to add the skip beat, the right hand plays an inward stroke on the bottom track on the upbeat of two and four, like this. One, two, a, uh, three, four. Oh. Now you might notice that my brush is coming away from the base of my palm on the outwards motion after beats two and four. Have a look at that. Three, four. The reason why I do that is so I don't have to rely purely on my wrist for that outwards motion. And it also makes a skip bit easier to play simply by closing the fingers, closing the grip. I'll, I'll play it for you one more time. Three, four. Okay, let's try that again together. But this time we're gonna add our bass drums on uh, all four and hi-hats on two and four. One, two, uh, three, four.
And now I'll demonstrate that with a backing track. This particular backing track comes from my book Phrasing and Freedom with Brushes and I'll leave the link to that down below. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any requests for any future lessons, please leave a comment down below. Thanks, I'll see you next time.